Oliver was jailed for eight years. He was from a very wealthy family from the United Kingdom so going to prison was a disgrace to his entire family as they had a large property empire and lots of money. Oliver regularly attended Royal Ascot and Wimbledon where he would rub shoulders with other elite rich people and also celebrities. Oliver was a charismatic man who was always the life of the party but sometimes when you have too much alcohol to drink trouble comes with it which has led Oliver down a dark path and now he is doing time in prison. After being sentenced to eight years in prison Oliver broke down crying in court as the guards led him to the van ready to be shipped out to prison. Oliver was no tough guy and was not built for prison. He was a snobby rich kid who went to private school and never had a fight in his life so he was really worried about getting bullied or beaten up by other prisoners. Oliver just assumed guys don't get turned out in UK prisons because getting turned out in prison was just an American thing so Oliver pretty much didn't even think about it at all. After a few weeks in prison Oliver hated it because he was constantly being chatted up by other inmates. It was the first time in his life that he felt truly alone. He would make friends with prisoners only to find out they were only talking to him so they could try and clap his cheeks. Everywhere he went he would get approached by thirsty men who were begging to clap his cheeks but Oliver always said no and ran away. Oliver was so afraid of getting his cheeks clapped out in prison he never went out during social activities and would pretty much just shut his cell door after the guard opened it. This still didn't stop thirsty men coming to Oliver's cell door calling him a beautiful supermodel while begging Oliver if they could clap his cheeks. Some men even asked if Oliver could be their girlfriend and in return they would give him free noodles and tuna but Oliver just ignored the men and focused on sitting on his cell bed reading books to pass time. Oliver just pretended that the guys were not even there and just ignored them. Oliver remembered hearing a story of what happened in an American prison where a prisoner accepted free noodles and tuna from another prisoner but when the next day came he had to pay back 100 times the original price with the debt doubling every day if the price was not paid which pretty much became impossible to pay back and in the end the inmate had to give up his booty and his cheeks got clapped out two times a day for five years to the inmate who gave him the free noodles and tuna just to pay back the debt owed. Oliver didn't want to go down this path so he never accepted anything from anyone. Oliver was pretty intelligent and went to Oxford University but in life sometimes things just go left, and then you end up in prison. Although Oliver had many inmates on his wing he felt really alone. He didn't understand what was so special about him and why every inmate was so hungry to clap his cheeks. So far it didn't happen so Oliver was safe. He had his own cell so he was not really worried about guys trying to clap his cheeks when the cell doors were shut but one day as Oliver was going back to his cell he was approached by a black guy called Derek who asked if he could borrow some sugar for his tea. Derek's cell was a few doors down and was the only guy on the wing who didn't try to chat him up or ask to clap his cheeks. Derek was always happy and would always say hello to Oliver as he walked past with a friendly smile on his face. Because of this Oliver didn't mind helping Derek because he wasn't like the rest of the men in the prison plus he might make a new friend in the process. Oliver was still confused why Derek would ask him for sugar because he could just walk to the canteen and get sugar for free. 
The canteen was a 10 second walk from their cell but because Oliver wanted to be a nice guy he agreed to just giving Derek some from his cell so they both walked into Oliver's cell together and as Oliver bent over to get the sugar from his drawer Derek pushed Oliver into the wall. Oliver hit his head really hard and was injured. He got up dazed and confused and that's when Derek changed from being nice to being nasty. He told Oliver you are going to give me some chan chan now as he pulled an object from his pocket. Oliver was afraid and tears started pouring down his face. He begged Derek not to clap his cheeks but Derek wasn't listening and wanted his cheeks right now. Derek pushed Oliver onto the bed and unzipped his trousers ready for some action. Oliver begged Derek not to clap his cheeks because he was not gay. Derek laughed and said I'm not gay either. Oliver tried to get off the bed and that's when Derek backhanded him back onto the bed. Oliver was in serious pain as he held his face. Oliver was in big trouble because he was only 5 foot 10 and skinny while Derek was 6 foot 2 with big muscles.